What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today we're going to open up the very expensive Slifer the Sky Dragon Egyptian God statue for you guys. So yeah, this is actually made by, and I hope I'm going to say their name right, uh, Koto Bukio. I think I'm saying that correctly. I know they made some of the previous Yu-Gi-Oh statues that are out there. They're also making one for, of course, Obelisk and Raw. Yeah, it's actually on the back here. There we go. It's a really big box. Like, this is actually like a $200 figure. I think you can uh, order them from some places over here in the U.S. right now, but I got mine from using Bai. Yeah, I really recommend them because I was able to get it a little bit cheaper. And uh, just being able to buy stuff from Japan, like you live in Japan, makes everything a lot cheaper, especially expensive things like this, like a premium product. Yeah, we all know this is going to be very expensive. So I, I think this is awesome. Slifer is the first one. I think Obelisk comes out next. I want to say around the summer, I think. And I think Raw comes out towards uh, the end, maybe around the holidays, if I'm not mistaken, too. I don't have all these release dates in my head just yet because I think they've been pushed back a couple of times. And we all know there's been a lot of stuff pushed back lately. So even if I gave you the exact times, I'm sure it would all change. But yeah, just look at this box. It is awesome. So I want to open up for you guys and actually show you this figure. But like I said, check out Bai. It makes getting anything, you know, much easier from Japan. If you want Yu-Gi-Oh cards, Pokemon, Digimon, uh... Pfft, Anything, anything Pokemon or any of those things too, anime related, much cheaper. I really do recommend them. I am a customer. They're sponsored, but I'm also a customer. All right, let me see if I can raise this up, actually. We do have this fancy table. Oh, it's actually working pretty good. I'm trying not to hit the mic. Oh, hit the mic a little. There. But I can open it like this, I think, for you guys. And there, I'm trying to get myself some room. And I definitely want to be careful with the box on this one. I'm just going to cut through the little tape that they have. Also, this was packaged really well. Like, I didn't think I would do the unboxing, like, the getting out of the box that Baye sent it in. But they had bubble wrap all over the thing. I had to get my wife to help me open it. So, they packaged it very well. Like, not a problem at all. Let's see. We have our instructions. I guess there's a little bit of assembly with this. I didn't know how much there would be. But, yeah, your instructions. I guess you're like... Looks like you're kind of putting Slifer together in a few pieces. Oh boy. I'm like holding my breath as I do this. There we go. All right, you can see all the pieces and the stand and everything. So that is everything out of the box. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> my wife's in here, so she's off camera helping me. And, uh, I don't want to do this. Let's do it. This is the smarter way. Yeah, because we have the wings. We're going to assemble the wings and everything. Okay. I understand there has to be assembly. I wish there wasn't, though, because it makes me nervous. All right, so in the first part, we have Slifer's wings right here. Again, I'm being extremely careful with this. While I'm working on this... Be sure to like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. Helps out tremendously. Gives us ooh, great sponsors and uh, makes things like this very possible. So, thank you to you guys. So we have Slifer's head and his one of his claws, I believe, right there. Here, can I <laughs> turn my hand just right? And we have, I guess, the middle of Slifer. I think that's right. Little packaging. Oh, there's his other, like, claws and his tail, basically. Have the little things that hold him up, basically. And the stand itself. I think it... Does it say anything on it? I don't think so. I thought maybe it said Slifer on it. I guess not. And yeah, this is all the plastic. Right now to assemble everything. I might actually want the instructions for this. I don't know. The instructions are in Japanese, but at least it has pictures to make it a little easier. So I think I'm understanding what they're saying at least. And we are back. Okay, <laughs> finally got it together. I had to get my wife to help me out too. The instructions weren't the clearest because uh, a lot of it's, again, in Japanese obviously. But really just go with the pictures. That's usually how I put together, I guess, anything really <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I was able to raise the table up and you can see it very nicely. I mean, this figure is amazing. I mean, obviously 
This is not for kids, by the way, because uh, I was trying to be so careful. I was like holding my breath as I put it together. This is something that you can't really play with, but on display, it looks amazing. The arms and everything, even the claw, has like joints right there. So you can kind of pose a little bit, not a ton. You can't close the mouth, but you can kind of turn the head. And then he has like these, I guess, back feet, back hands. I don't know technically how you would say it, but you can see them right here. They, they can also move and everything too. There's joints in them. The wings stay as they are, and it has like these support columns under it too. My only complaint, if that is one, which I'm probably going to, on display, anybody have like a Cypher, like the card in front of him. I kind of wish it said on the base like Cypher, you know, because they do that with the monster collection figures. They have like their actual names, even if it's in Japanese. I just think that would look cool. It, it's not much of a complaint if there is one, but I kind of wish it would say like Cypher the Sky Dragon, or even if it, they went with the Japanese name and went with Osiris, you know, either way would have been cool. But yeah, the figure is amazing. I mean, seriously, the shading on it, as you can really tell, it is a beautiful figure. It is something that looks, uh, you know, just like you're, what you're paying for. You know, if you're going to pay $200 for a statue, it better look this nice, I guess the best way to put it. You know, like, and, and this looks like that kind of value. You know, this isn't like the little $10 one we opened up the other day, the figure hanger where it looks like a Bakugan or something. No, this is definitely something that you're getting your money's worth and it looks amazing. I can't wait to have all three of them standing up here. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna have to, you know, I've already messed with the set a little bit, but I'm gonna have to get another spot, like a shelf or something just for these three. And like I said too, I'm thinking about like putting um, maybe some of the God cards in front of them as well to kind of show, you know, have like their card in front, like they're being summoned sort of thing. But yeah, this figure is sick. If there is a person out there that loves Slifer, you know of any fans out there, they need this figure and especially too, you got to get all three of these God cards. I know it's going to be very pricey. When it's $200 each, yeah, you can do the math, right? $600, eh, <laughs> it's going to be pricey, but any collector out there, if you have the money, this is something really cool to invest in for sure. I mean, seriously, it looks so sick. It deserves its own shelf for sure. So let me know what you guys think about this. Again, it was from Bai, so check them out. Like I said, link in the description. It will save you a little bit of money if you use my link if you haven't used it before. And it does help support the channel. But again, I do plan to get the other figures, so I'll let you guys know when they're out because I'll try to get them around the release dates. Again, I do believe it's basically all this year we're going to get all three eventually. And again, this just looks amazing i love it so much so yeah tell me what you guys think do you think it was worth this kind of price what do you guys think about the figure quality and everything too and also um what Yu-Gi-Oh monster would you like to see like this as always thank you guys for watching like and subscribe and of course i will catch you guys later see ya